Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. The World Baseball Classic reached its conclusion on Wednesday night with the United States winning its first ever title by an 8-0 score over Puerto Rico. Marcus Stroman starting for the USA after losing to Puerto Rico in Pool F play was outstanding on the mound, taking a no-hitter into the seventh inning, allowing just two base runners and a six-plus innings of work. Ian Kinsler got the USA's offense going with a two-run homer in the third inning to begin the route as Puerto Rico lost in a World Baseball Classic final for the second straight time. I had the honor of managing for our country. The coaches had the honor of coaching for our country. The players had the honor of playing for our country. But this is for the men and women that serve our country. Thank you very much. Baseball today, more in the passing of former Phillies manager and executive Dallas Green at the age of 82. As manager of the Phils, Green led the club to the 1980 World Series title. He would return to the organization in 1998 in an executive role after becoming the fourth person in Major League history to manage both the Yankees and Mets. He became general manager of the Cubs in 1982, building the 1984 club that would reach the postseason for the first time since 1945, earning him the Baseball Executive of the Year award by the Sporting News. Dallas Green was a larger-than-life figure, a big shock of gray hair. He's one of those guys that owned every room he walked in that people wanted to be around, and he was a great baseball man. And he's got hundreds and hundreds of friends around the game who will miss him dearly. He was a baseball lifer who loved the Reigning National League Cy Young Award winner Max Scherzer made his first start of the spring for the Nationals. The right-hander went four and two-thirds innings, allowing two earned runs while striking out four. And afterwards, Scherzer was pleased with his outing. The spring training game, to be out there competing, uh, you know, throwing all my pitches, throwing them for strikes. Uh, that's a great first outing. Um, you know, get my pitch count up, uh, you know, executing all the off-speed pitches, so coming out of that very good. Blue Jays third baseman Josh Donaldson made his first appearance in the field after his spring training debut as a DH on Monday. The 2015 AL MVP has been sidelined for most of the spring with a strained right calf. He played four innings and finished with a walk in two plate appearances. Now let's have a look at the rest of Wednesday's spring training action. One for two is Greg Bird. He with the two-run home run back in the fourth inning. One-one pitch. Swung on and that one is crushed to right field and that one is gone. A three run shot this time for Greg Bird. He has two home runs and five RBIs. Got Copeland facing Curtis Granderson. And that's it well out to right field and no question about it. Curtis oh. Granderson over the Suncoast Sun Deck. A two run shot and the Mets take a three to one lead. Man, that was a bomb by Curtis Granderson. To a full count on Mike Trout. And the pitch. Trout drills the ball deep into left center field. That ball is well hit. Out of here. Home run. That is his first one this spring. It comes on a 3-2 pitch. And Mike Trout makes it a one-run Texas lead. For more on these stories and complete World Baseball Classic coverage, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.